Hi everyone, welcome to Kids Without Lessons. So I may say, yep. So if you're watching this video, you want to know how to make this. This is a house that I created. So just to know the specs of this house, uh, this beautiful, beautiful house or that has two bedrooms. I'll just show you. So this is one of the bedrooms. This is the se second bedroom. Uh, and, then, and also the kitchen. Uh, this is the kitchen it's quite nice there's no crafting table right now is i well yeah <laughs> and this is the living room this is the bathroom and, uh, just to show so you know this is a nice bathroom so yeah i mean say uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to build the this house yeah so enjoy and also let's not forget our uh, nice fun yard with a swimming pool and also uh, no diving board but still um, if you somehow got onto the roof well such a wonderful oh wait i missed let me try again um again oh man yes so yeah i mean see the so uh, enjoy the rest of the video yep yeah so the first thing you have to do is make a 10 by 10 uh, square on the ground. Uh, we will fill up the square with quartz and a blue uh, uh, stained clay. To fill the space, we are going to make a pattern of blue stained clay and uh, quartz. Follow the deeper uh, pattern steps here. So as you see, I'm actually placing the blue state clay in a slanted pattern. Then I'm going to fill it up with the spaces with quartz. They build uh, five blocks high and then uh, leave a, a, a portion of the uh, square um, empty because you, we need to actually make the bathroom and hallway so the, we're going to use that space for making the bathroom a hallway then make a space a two by four space for the, the a window uh, we're gonna fill up the space with cyan stain uh, with glass. They make an accent design uh, around the window with blue stained clay. Follow the design here. Then you put an iron door right next to the design with a button. Then fill in the, the empty top with a coarse block for a making a roof. The roof will be flat. Another accent design, which is uh, following the design here. We're going to use acacia wood to make the and uh, the cyan say glass to make the design. To, uh, to actually, uh, I mean, say that the wood would be on its side. So to actually do that, you want you want, want to put quartz block uh, inside the house, uh, and then put put the wood against it. You can remove the quartz block later. In between both sides, put a, a normal acacia wood block, and in between those two acacia wood blocks, put the cyan stained glass. Next, we will make the bathroom. The bathroom's area is 6x3. I did a little bit of a mistake here, so I, I, I will rectify it a little bit later when we are making the hallway. Add the flooring of the bathroom and also at the uh, walls. Uh, make sure you have put the door on the fourth block of the wall. the hallway so I'm going to actually fix, uh, fix the hallway because it's a little bit too wide 
So yeah. Point the hallway is, is supposed to be a three by twelve, so I, I'm from the living room. So that's actually what I'm doing right now. I'm actually making the hallway. <laughs> to make the walls for the hallway, so and so actually we can add, add the room. Now we're going to make the first bedroom. The first bedroom's area is 7 by 11. And place the door for the living room. Do the flooring for the bedroom. I'm using the, the original flooring technique that I used for the living room. Now we are going to make the roof of the living room. I'm going to finish the roof for the hallway. I'm going to do the kitchen. The kitchen area, area is 7 by 10. I'm going to do the flooring of the kitchen. Now I am going to do the roof of the kitchen. going to the second bedroom. The area of the second bedroom is 17 by 5. Now I am going to do the walls of the second bedroom. Now I'm going to do the floor of the second bedroom. of the second bedroom. <coughs> now I am making the front yard. The front yard's area is 11 by 13. Into the front yard, I'm putting stone. In, 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 inside the front yard, I'm putting stone bricks. Then I place the door so that I can get into the front yard.
and working on the swing pool. The swing pool's area is eight by five. The depth of the swing pool is two. Now I am filling the swing pool with water. Now I am adding a patio. I'm fixing the door a, a bit. Now let's do the interior. You get it. So now I'm going to add a revestal lamp so that for lighting. I'm going to add in some in the rest of the lamp in some locations in the living room and also in the hallway and also in the rooms itself. Uh, as you see right now. And now I'm going to uh, um, and now I'm going to actually make the bed for the first bedroom. So I'm going to use wool for the front uh, of the bed. And also I'm going to use pressure plates for the pillows. The, uh, then I'm going to make a laptop uh, and Top. So I'm going to just first add some light into the room because it's pretty dark and um, it's time to make a laptop now. So I'm going to get some wood from planks, oak wood planks specifically. Then I'm going to actually uh, get a pressure plate and I'm going to get a painting and I will make the painting fit into the, for, for the, into the block so that I can make a screen. I'm going to add a pot and, and flowers for just some of the looks. So I see I'm going to uh, add a flower to the room. Uh, for a seat, I'm going to use oak wood stairs. You can use any other stair type of stairs for a seat. Uh, for the, the couches, I'm going to use quartz stairs. So I uh, may say in the living room, there's some good looking couches. Now I'm going to do the second bedroom. I'm going to do the same lighting for the first bedroom. I'll use a vessel lamp and a lever. Uh, I'm going to just relocate the lamp. Then I'm going to add some green wool for the bed. And then I'm going to add some white wool, uh, I mean wool, for the top bed. Then I'm going to add some pressure plates. You can actually add a real bed if, if you uh, want to make it more usable. Then I'm going to add a laptop right next to the bed. Then I'm going to put a pressure plate, a weighted pressure plate. Uh, then I'm going to put a painting. Uh, I'm going to put the paint, different paint this time. Then I'm going to actually add a, another flower to make uh, to add to the looks and a stair uh, and stairs for the seat. I'm going to work on the living room a bit. Uh, I'm going to add a flower for the living room to make it look good. Good. So I see I'm going to add an oxide daisy uh, for the flower. Now I'm going to go into the fun yard and just going to add a fence for protection because. Uh, zombies might come in, so uh, I really don't want zombies coming into the backyard while people are outside. So yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea to put a fence around it. Then I'm going to add a light because uh, for lighting, so that no zombies spawn, and it also looks pretty good. So I'm going to add a lighting over a fence, and I'm going to put a lever on top of the light so that I, uh, so that it's just a safe space. And see, it looks pretty good now. Uh, but now we're going to do the kitchen. Um, Finally, we're going to do the kitchen. So I'm going to add a resto lamp, and I'm going to actually add, I actually did forget to put windows. So uh, yeah, I did forget to put windows, it looks like. So I'm going to add windows also. You don't need windows in your kitchen, but uh, for me, for the look, you, uh, I'm going to add windows. To make it a little a, a bit more better, you can uh, extend the bottom of the windows. I'm going to use cyan, stained glass, uh, yeah, that's the theme. This area is 3 by 11, so I may say it's pretty uh, a decent amount of window space. So now I'm placing windows using the cyan stained glass. I add a, a stove by actually just putting black, uh, black carpet and then place the buttons for uh, looking like the controls. Then I'm going to put a furnace for uh, the oven. And also I'm going to just uh, add uh, some chests so that uh, as for storage. So I'm going to add three chests. And uh, also I'm going to actually uh, add another uh, table, uh, table uh, counter for the kitchen. So as you see, it's, too, uh, it's pretty spacious and you can cook your food. And then I'm going to add a cauldron so that I can make the sink. I'm going to add a tripwire hook um, to, um, to actually make the, uh, 
of uh, yeah, it's by a hook to for making the sink, and then now we're gonna work on the bathroom. So we're gonna actually first off add a vestal lamp to the uh, bathroom. So for lighting, with a switch, and then uh, you can actually do some more vestal to actually make the switch in a more convenient position. Now we're gonna make the bathtub. So we're gonna fulfill it in, in uh, water. I did a little mistake there. So yeah, but then uh, and then also uh, we're gonna make uh, the uh, the toilet and. We're gonna use a hopper and a button to make the toilet, and then now we're gonna make the sink. So we're gonna use a, a, a cauldron and a tripod hook to make the sink. So I, I like in the kitchen. So I mean, say and also water to fill in the uh, cauldron. Um, so, uh, yeah, I uh, I think this house lo looks pretty good, good in my opinion. It, it, I mean, say yeah. Thank you for watching um, this video. Bye. This is Gonzalez.